Thank you, Cahir. Look, and yesterday I stood in the House and um, I called on the Minister with Responsibility for the Office of Public Works to come in here and outline uh, what exactly is involved in uh, retaining protected structures. But I've spoken to a lot of people in the North Clare area uh, over the last 24 hours since the news broke about the NRA uh, making available six million to demolish uh, uh, homes and businesses in order to uh, eliminate probably the biggest bottleneck in the country at the moment, uh, Blake's Corner on the N67. But there is an alternative uh, to all of this, and it is to build a bypass of the town of Ennistymon. Uh, in the County Clare development plans over a number of plans at this stage, uh, uh, um, an area has been reserved to facilitate a bypass of Ennistymon. Uh, which would facilitate the million-plus visitors going to the Cliffs of Moher and the many hundreds of thousands uh, visiting our coastal communities from Fenor, Doolan, right down as far as Milton Malbec. Uh, I think that for the sake of an extra few million, that at this stage a bypass of the town of Innistymon needs to come back on the agenda. So I would call on the leader uh, to request the Minister for the Environment or the Minister for Transport, whichever has the uh, uh, responsibility in terms of the NRA, uh, to come in here and outline how they are going to deal with the biggest bottleneck uh, on the N67 and to you know, give us an indication as to why they wouldn't consider a bypass of uh, the town of Innistymon. I believe it's now definitely back on the agenda and um, I certainly would be interested to hear uh, um, what the Minister has to say in terms of this bypass. We've dealt with uh, most of the road infrastructural projects, the major primary road infrastructural projects, and we have the, the Ennis Bypass and the Chum Bypass and, uh, and the Gort Bypass. These are all uh, well underway at this stage. Uh, we do need uh, to identify towns that have been choked as a result of traffic, uh, particularly, I suppose, rural towns that, that don't have the benefit of, a benefit of large populations. Unfortunately, there's a million people visiting the Cliffs of Moher, but the town of Ennis Diamond specifically isn't benefiting uh, uh, to the degree it should uh, from that simply because of the bottleneck and the N67. So I think a bypass of that town is something that would be very appropriate at this time.